Welcome back to the series <clears throat> Aboriginal Nature Channel The German Cockroach Series And I want to let y'all know something The nymphs have been born in a beautiful in a roach type of way And I can't wait to let you see Exactly what happened two or three days after I made the last film for y'all. Yes, the German cockroach is a prolific breeder, as you can see. They breed constantly, and they have to, because a lot of their babies won't survive, and nature has equipped them to proliferate very fast. Very. It's just a machine of breeding, but. I'm gonna let you see that. This is part two of the series, the German cockroach. These are the eggs of different roaches, but this one we're gonna discuss is the German cockroach. And like I said, they're prolific breeders, but let's get back into it. Chapter two, y'all, German cockroach. Yeah, see, that's one of the babies right there. That's with the mama right there. She a little more happy now because I turned the light off. That light was really upsetting her. And those are her babies. Those are her little babies. I told you she was going to have them like in one or two days. What we got here is the babies. It's the babies. Look at them. Only three days ago was the was a, I was showing y'all the mom. She had the babies. She had them, y'all. She had them, and this is one of hers. Trying to hide from me. Trying to get away from me. Look at that. Look at that. That's the baby right there. And what I'm trying to do. Hold on. There's a difference between the male and the female. The males as adults have a streamlined body and the females have a more rounded back section, letting you know that she's a female. German cockroach. Booyah, there is the light. See, you see, she still has her egg pouch attached to her and I also see that, this, that she still has babies. Now this is probably the first time ever something like this has been recorded. Now I can see her trying to actually remove the egg sac itself from her butt, but it's not coming off for some reason and she's trying very desperately to get it off her to the point where the babies are actually being born while it's still attached to her. And I can see that a few of them, they just came out, you know, they just, they outed, you know what I'm saying? She is definitely trying to remove the egg pouch itself from her body and it's, it's just not working. I don't know how that happens, never seen it, but she is definitely trying to remove it from her body and it's not going anywhere and the babies are actually being born. They're being born like that. Here we go. Get as close as I can. There we go. You see that? That's what they look like up close. It's about nine, ten times magnification. Probably a little more than that. That's what they look like. You can see they have a head and a shell-like body, you know what I'm saying? Thorax um, concealed under the head. And they look like little miniature versions of their parents, just the wings, just nymphs. And they got real fast little legs that you can barely see. But this is what they do when they're not doing anything. They just roughly... Here, let me show you That right there, that one that I'm looking at right in the middle, is gonna be a female. I can see that. 
that's gonna be a female because she has a pod like body you know what I'm saying the males on the other hand they have what you call a streamlined type body you know what I'm saying they're not round on the bottom in some kind of way they know some kind of way the, the moms knows she knows I don't know how she knows but she knows what, what her environment needs and gives that to her eggs like this one right here that's a male it's gonna be a male that one right there next to it is gonna be a female that's gonna be a female that's gonna be a male right there at the top that's a male There's a lot of females in here, but it's going to be a lot of males, too. You know, one, two, three. Now, when they grow up, what you're going to see in the males is the streamlined body with the, with the missile-type butt or missile-type abdomen. And the females are going to have the rounded-type butt built for reproduction. That's a female at the bottom, right next to a male female and a male. You can almost see it. Now, within a few days, they're going to be a little bit bigger than this. And they're going to start looking more like their parents. And that's crazy. Alright. Here we got a very, very, very close look at the baby. All congregated in this one little area. Let me back up some. In this one little area where you just see all these little antennae. All these little antennae. Now, usually in the daytime or when there's light, basically, they will all congregate in one area, you know, just to, I guess, make sure they're safe, you know. <clears throat> This is what they look like when they small. Their attitudes are pretty nonchalant. You know, they just stay to themselves and do pretty much what a uh, baby roach would do. Just wait until, you know, it gets dark and then they get back on to looking for food and water. But this is what it looks like. Distance. All right, this is my little magnification thing right here. Let me show you that. This is how I'm able to get up close, you know, so y'all can see it up close. But this is what they look like <clears throat> without the magnification. Hold on, let me check. Let me magnify that. Let me. There we go. See? That's what they look like. Yeah, it's hard to get a good view without it, so I'm going to back up some. Yep. That's what they are. They, they all congregated in one little area, you know? Because they're not going to stay small. See, they small right now. But you got to remember, each individual one of these roaches is going to be the size of half of that candy cane. Do you understand what I'm saying? Each one of them is, are going to grow to that size, and they grow really, really fast. Like, they've doubled in size in only two days from just drinking water and eating I don't know, I put a little cereal in there, um, cut up raisin, and, you know, just, that's basically it, but they don't really need much when they decide, they really need water more than anything. Yes, indeed, I just want y'all to see. The German cockroach came over here on boats with the European Indo-colonizer. And it adapted very quickly because it's a perfect scavenger. On to the next meal. What you got right here is another brother or sister is trying to come into the camera. See? I got a good place. I found a good place to record. See? Y'all, nah, they not camera shy. 
Ah, uh, he did. And you know why I know this? Look at the name, German. They're German roaches. They're not from here. You understand that? But as you can probably see by moving from one place to another, these visitors will come right along with you. So you already know how they got here from Germany. I was eating peanuts and I came up with this idea. That's the peanut husk that you see in the back. And I'm guessing that they're gonna love to use that as a refuge, hiding place. I just put that in there, so. And that's the front of it right there, you see it? There's water inside and cotton sticking out the, the, the mouth of it. And the water is absorbed by that cotton and that cotton stays moist. Patients. I put a, another piece of cotton right there and it's just hanging from, from a toothpaste flosser which I constantly dip in water and let it hang from the top of the top and that's how it looks from the top right there you see that what I've done is I've burned the tip and I put some glue, plastic glue, real glue, with a glue gun right there. They remain clean. They constantly clean themselves. They constantly clean their antenna to make sure that their antenna is picking up the right smells. And they stay clean. But they make everything else dirty. Like something else I know. <laughs> I'm not gonna get into that right now. <laughs> People that know me know what I'm talking about. A few more babies that will never be born inside of it. I think one or two of those babies, or maybe even three, sporadically came out during the night because I see a few smaller ones, smaller than their siblings, crawling around here now. There you go, see? I had to add a little bit of light, y'all. Now this light is gonna make these guys really mad. I'm just gonna let you know that now, but it's also gonna make them active. And that's what I want. Now, they don't like that light. They hate that light. But you can see how many guys we got present now. See that? You see how big they've gotten? They're bigger than the last time I recorded them. They are, you know, they're growing up. See, what they're going to do now is they're going to try to forage and find a new place to go. That light, to them, makes them feel like they're vulnerable. You see how he's scratching and stuff? That's because of the light. They want to relax, but they can't relax because the light is <laughs> tricking them up. But that's the life of a bug. See the little mouth parts? Yeah, they're growing up, y'all. In the next part of the series, they're going to be a little bit older and probably a little bit bigger. And we'll talk about that eating habits. So y'all make sure y'all subscribe if you want to see more. Because that's the only way you're going to be able to know. Yeah, it's kind of cute. When you really take the time and look at how they act, they're cute. Yeah. I'm going to eat this. There's mama right there. She finally laid her little egg pack, you know what I'm saying? And that girl, little babies. Oh, they mad at me right now. They so mad at me. I just wanted to show y'all. They all back together again. Look at that. I like shit. Why are you putting this light on me? You that shit. They don't like that shit. They do not like light. It's third. It does something to their brain. That's how I know their eyes work. That's how you know evolution is bullshit because even insects. We're supposed to be way down the totem pole. Got highly sophisticated eyes. Now how do you explain that? 
how do you explain eyes? It contradicts evolution. Life is life. Look at that. She finally laid her egg pack. Let me show you. There is the egg pack right there. It took her actually three whole days to lay that thing. And whatever's inside of it now, I guess it's dead. If there's any, any left in there, I don't know. That right there is one of the babies. Never born. That's what they look like. They're white. When they're born, they're all white. They ooze out. Suck in a little bit of air, and then they increase in size. But they're really small when they come out. They suck in air, ooze out of this little pack right here, and then as they gather a little bit of air, they pop out. And they're completely white with green eyes. Just after about an hour or so, it changes back into the regular color. Ain't that something?